हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स इन कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स और बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश बी शिंदे के कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस कोर्स आर we are going to see various aspects and through this particular course you are going to learn various important aspects of communication skills such as communication basics importance process methods barriers communication in business context how communication takes place in business context how to enhance your listening speaking reading writing and thinking skills how to speak effectively as well as how to present effectively then business official correspondence focusing on letter writing report writing and so many other things so let's begin with the unit number 1 that is communication basics lesson number 1 importance of communication origin definitions so what are the objectives of this particular lesson number 1 through this lesson we will understand the importance and need of communication why communication is so important and why communication is that much needful knowing the origin of the word communication and studying some of the basic definitions of communication so the purpose of lesson 1 itself is to just focus on the origin of communication its importance and studying some definitions so in this uh, lesson what exactly we are going to focus are importance and need of communication to human beings what is the difference between communication communication skills and effective communication skills need of studying communication skills separately why communication skills in english and not in any other language origin of the word communication and some of the definitions so this is the outline of the particular this particular course so let's begin with a very well known and one of my favorite quotes by tony robbins which says the way we communicate with others and with ourselves ultimately determines the quality of our lives why studying communication skills is important why we should have mastery on communication skills this quote is i think enough to give proper explanation about the need and importance of effective communication skills what it says the way we communicate with others how you are communicating with others whether it is positive or negative as well as how you are communicating with yourself whether you talk to yourself whether that is positive negative encouraging discouraging all that decides the quality of your life if you are communicating effectively with others definitely will enjoy your life if you are not effective in communication you will definitely suffer in your personal life so communicating with others as well as communicating with yourself the quality of that determines Uh, the way that the, the you communicate that determines the quality of our life that's why it is said that you should focus on developing your communication skills that is come in how to communicate effectively with others as well as how to communicate with ourselves let's move further effective communication again why this is so much needed uh, for you engineers particularly uh, many of the recent surveys uh, they have shown that around 75% of engineering graduates are unemployable and uh, they are unemployable because of two reasons number one lack of industry exposure the students they lack in industry exposure they are good in knowledge but they don't have uh, exp- industry exposure that's why they are not employable and the second biggest reason given is lack of effective communication skills the engineering graduates are good in their knowledge they are sound in their knowledge they can explain their terminologies they can explain their domain knowledge but when a time comes to express it to others explain it to others they fail and that is why that lack of effective communication skills is one of the biggest reasons one of the biggest problems of uh, unemployability so especially what that lsrw what that communication skills is particularly they are lagging in presentation skills that is they are not able to speak effectively they are not able to listen and comprehend properly listening comprehension and reading comprehension and they are lagging in writing skill and they are lagging in most of the soft skills so this is uh, something which we all should be aware about and uh, uh, we should focus along with your domain knowledge along with your subject knowledge you should focus on developing your communication skills if you really want to be employable if you really want to get employed immediately once you complete your graduation moving ahead now here i would like to just uh, uh, focus on the importance of communication to human beings why 
communication is so important to human beings and why we are actually uh, dependent on communication so can you just uh, think on this like look at the statement you cannot not communicate can you think of a situation or time when you do not communicate just pause the video for some time and think any situation in which you do not communicate i hope you have thought over and actually you must have come across uh, to some of the situations like sir i am listening so i am not communicating no listening is part of communication you are listening means you are responding to the speaker so that is a part of communication you will say okay, sir i am sitting idle and thinking i am not communicating first let me tell you that communication most of the time we misunderstand communication with just speaking skill but it is not just speaking so you will think okay, sir i am sitting idle and thinking so i am not communicating actually think thinking itself is a form of communication because you are talking to yourself so no that's that is also uh, not the correct answer then you'll say okay sir i'm just sitting silent neither thinking nor speaking nor listening not doing anything so you are keeping silent you are sitting silent that's that itself is communicating that you want to take rest or you are disturbed or you do not want to get disturbed so no even silence you are communicating you will say sir meditation actually meditation is also a form of communication then you will say sir i am sleeping so at that time i don't communicate actually sleeping also also is a form of communication i mean a form of communication which you do during sleeping is nothing but your dreams all right so everybody dreams so dreaming is also a form of communication now some of you will say ki sir no we don't dream that is also fine but the way you sleep that communicates something to the person who is observing you who is looking at you the way you are sleeping very much tired sitting sleeping relax or sleeping um, uh, cautious and so many things uh, are displayed so sleeping no that is also uh, sometimes we communicate so finally we'll say ki sir no once we are dead we stop communicating actually that is also not the end of communication because even after death we still remember our forefathers we still remember our freedom fighters we still remember about their learnings and their preaching and so many things so even a person is dead the person still communicates so what what is the conclusion there is hardly any situation in which we do not communicate it means every situation we keep communicating the next part of the same question is what are the things which keep communicating all right what are the ways what are the forms through which we keep communicating so there are various like we communicate through words voice tone body face eyes gestures postures actions non action appearance our dress code our ornaments our specs footwear perfume everything that is communicating something touch the way we touch to our friend who is in need who is in difficulty who is disappointed when a teacher encourages student by tapping the back of the student that is touch that also communicates gives encouragement pictures charts images graphs everything time context environment everything communicates even your silence also speaks louder than your words so the conclusion there is hardly anything that doesn't communicate everything speaks something everything communicates something let us move ahead now why this communication is so important to human beings and why this is so uh, 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 relevant to human beings and how it is different from human beings and those things we are focusing here now actually communication is a gift of god to human being why it is called as gift of god because you must uh, I, you know i'm not going to go in more detail about this like how communication originated how our forefathers started communicating with the help of uh, uh, cave paintings and stone carvings so many years uh, back then how it shifted to uh, the communication through the birds then some of the messengers then it turned to in the 15th century when there was invention of the printing press how the books originated how from that part to television to uh, 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 let us say telephone television radio signals internet blogging and today we are communicating with the help of all the social media so this history of communication is very huge but still starting from just speaking with the help of pictures and paintings in the caves uh, in the caves till today communicating on social media there are so many developments there are so many inventions so communication has a special gift given by god to human beings 
Why it is a special gift? Because animals, they also communicate, but their communication system is very limited. They cannot learn communication of each other. They cannot focus on beyond their limited thinking power. But human beings, definitely we are gifted with two great things by God. Number one is our brain, which is different than animals. And second is our communication system. Unlike animals, Human beings can learn any language and can communicate in any form with any person and so on. That is why human communication is unlimited, animal communication is limited and that is why it is a special gift of God to human beings. Now, we human beings cannot live without societies, cannot live without groups and when we are in a group, we cannot live without communication. That means we always need to be surrounded by people and when we are surrounded, we always focus, we always talk with each other and we need to talk with each other and that's why we keep communicating. There are various ways of communication but as you all know, language is the main source through which we keep communicating. Moving ahead, now there is a reflection spot for you. Pause the video and think on why this particular like we are aware about the communication it is an essential aspect of human being but what is just knowing the communication is not enough like communication is communicating with each other there are some differences so what you need to think please think on the differences between these three terms what is communication what is communication skills and what is effective communication skills just pause the video for two seconds and think on the possible differences between these three. I hope you have uh, thought over this and you might have thought over some of the aspects like this. Communication is just sharing of ideas and information. Yes, that is true. It is just a sharing of ideas and information. It is a uh, communication skills. What is communication skills? It is sharing them in a specific way. Only communication is sharing of ideas and information no matter what way you are using, whether that is reaching to audience or not. But communication skills, sharing that idea in a specific way. For example, you want to take permission for five days leave from college and you need to take permission from your head of the department. So if you go orally, you go and discuss orally with your HOD, your HOD will say, you know, give me in writing because written communication is proper and appropriate in that context. That is why Communication skills, knowing that instead of just speaking, I have to go and write the application is understanding communication skill, a specific way, either speaking, either reading or non-verbal or not doing anything, knowing that is communication skill. Now, effective communication skills is knowing effective ways of sharing them. That is knowing when to speak, how to speak, where to speak and with whom to speak and most important, getting the expected outcome. So simple. Communication, you are going and talking to your HOD asking for the leave, HOD will simply deny, no, I, the leave cannot be given. If you go and politely talk, sir may say, no, it is not allowed. But if you know, ki, if you go and write the letter, you write the letter and you submit it to your HOD and you orally also explain uh, HOD why you need that leave and you are mentioning everything in that, how you will come back from that, uh, from taking the leave and you will complete your syllabus and miss the academics and all that and you get the outcome permitted. So that way you have effective communication skills. Now where we all are, we are well in communication. We know when to, uh, we know the specific ways also. Now it is a time to shift from just communication and communication skills to becoming effective in our communication skills. Now, why communication skills we should study separately? Just a question for you. For you. Do you communicate every day? You will say, yes, sir, we do. With whom? With our parents, with our friends, with our relatives, with our colleagues and sometimes to ourselves. So, when you know, I don't say that whether you are communicating in English or Marathi, but we keep communicating. Let us say, do you understand what I speak? Yes. So you communicate in English? Yes, we do. Then what is the need of studying communication skills separately? If you know how to speak, if you know how to communicate, if you know when to communicate and all that, but what is the need of studying communication skills separately? Why this is a subject for you in your engineering or uh, some of your other undergraduate courses? It is just because of one reason. Sachin Tendulkar, everybody knows him. Who is he? is known as the god of cricket, master blaster. 
Now, if he is the god of cricket and he says, "Ki I am the god of cricket and I am the master blaster. I need not to study communicate. I need not to uh, practice on the ground. I can hit centuries whenever I go on the ground." Is it possible? No. If you read his uh, autobiography or if you have uh, watched his movie, he has mentioned that even before a match, he used to practice around four to six hours in net. Why he used to practice? He is the god of cricket. it is just because to give best of him when the time comes in the same way even if we know how to communicate we should study communication skill separately so that when time comes we will be able to give our best at that situation moving ahead again the same communication skills we know in most of the languages we do keep communicating then what is the need of english why we should study communication skills in english and why not in any other language just pause the video for 1 minute and think on this why communication skills in english and why not in any other language and resume the video i hope you have thought over some of the uh, possible reasons why english i will just go fast on this the possible reasons maybe number 1 english is an international language it is called as international language it is also called as the language of globe it is you know accepted as a language of globe it is a window to the world okay there are many things about english it is a common language of communication known as lingua franca when the uh, people of uh, different language background come together they will come and if they f they want to communicate they cannot understand each other's language they find english is the uh, common language which is helping them and most of the resources in the world are available in english that is why we should study communication skills in english it is a window to the world means what if you want to study anything about any culture any 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 nation there is a common window for you and that is the english you can open that window and you can learn about that culture and about that particular nation in detail all right so that is the english and that's why we should focus on learning english communication skills moving ahead defining the term communication now it is uh, said that whenever you are coming across new terminologies and new uh, subjects you should start from the beginning and uh, you should focus on its origin so the word communication has its origin in the latin word communicare which means to share or to make common so in short what it means communication is to share some information with someone else or to make some information known to others who do not have that information so simple is communication is giving information to others however communication is considered effective only when it gets the desired response you cannot say that i have communicated successfully every time for that you need to get the desired feedback and when you get the feedback you can say yes my communication was successful let us focus on some of the definitions of communication now actually defining communication is not easy task and uh, there are so many definitions given by most of the experts but studying some of the formal and well known definitions will definitely help us to understand it there are many definitions but not a single most comprehensive one and we are going to focus some of those definitions starting with the first given as in cambridge advanced learners dictionary which goes communication is to share information with others by speaking writing moving your body or using other signals so the definition says what is communication it is sharing information okay with others by speaking writing moving your body or using other signals what is the difference between these two let us see the second one is as given in the free dictionary.com communication is the exchange of thoughts messages or information by using speech signals writing or behavior so what is the difference the first definition is to share information and second exchange of thoughts so in first definition it can be just sharing one way but the second definition focuses on, focuses on exchanging the information so you give information as well as you take information with the help of using your speech your signals writing or behavior and so many things now moving to some of the definitions given by the experts of one of which is uh, julia valenzuela and the definition goes 
कम्युनिकेशन इज एनी एक्ट बाई विच वन पर्सन गिवस टू एंड और रिसीव फ्रॉम अनादर पर्सन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट पर्सन नीड्स डिजायर्स परसेप्शन नॉलेज और अफेक्टिव स्टेट्स सो इट इज नॉट लिमिटिंग जस्ट टू शेयरिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड जस्ट एक्सचेंजिंग द थॉट्स वॉट इट इज इट इज एनी एक्ट इट कैन बी स्पीकिंग इट कैन बी रीडिंग इट कैन बी मूविंग यूर बॉडी इट कैन बी कीपिंग साइलेंट इट कैन बी शाउटिंग एट यू इट कैन बी जस्ट इग्नोरिंग नो बिहेवियर एनी एक्ट बाई विच वन पर्सन गिवस टू एंड रिसीव फ्रॉम अनादर पर्सन दैट पर्सन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट पर्सन नीड्स आई वॉन्ट यू टू स्टैंड अप सो आई कैन सिंपली टेल यू स्टैंड अप और आई कैन सिग्नल यू लाइक दिस आई कैन जस्ट लुक एट यू इफ यू आर स्पीकिंग यू विल कीप कीप मम बिकॉज यू यू परसिव दैट सर इज नॉट हैप्पी विथ माई डिस्टर्बेंसेज इन द क्लास एंड सो ऑन सो एनी एक्ट बाय विच वन पर्सन गिवज इन्फॉर्मेशन डिजायर्स वॉट यू नीड परसेप्शन नॉलेज और अफेक्टिव स्टेट्स यूर इमोशनल स्टेट्स द सेकंड वेल नोन डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एक्सपर्ट्स इज गिवन बाय एलन लुइस दिस इज द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव डेफिनेशन एंड द डेफिनेशन गोज like communication is the sum of all the things one person does when he or she wants to create understanding in the mind of another just be careful read carefully communication is sum of all the things so everything that you do it includes maybe again speaking listening reading writing action no action behavior anything sum of everything when one person does you know when one person uh, wants to create some understanding in the mind of another i want to create some understanding like i want to and i want you to understand what exactly communication is and its importance and for that what i am doing i am using uh, my my voice i am using this powerpoint presentation in that i am using various colors okay i have studied the books and i have taken the selective definitions again so many things combined together i am trying to make it very clear to you to understand the communication so it is some of all the things when one person wants to create understanding in the mind of another so what these definitions tell us as a, a conclusion to summarize communication may be intentional it can be unintentional it may involve signals it may take linguistic or non linguistic form that is maybe in, in form of language or no language it may occur through spoken or other modes so that is all about the definition of communication so this is the end of lesson 1 we have studied communication its importance definitions in lesson 2 we will see characteristics features of communication levels of communication elements process and communication cycle in detail thank you so much